He's like, yo, Alexis, yo, fam. And he said that he said to Sanchez, fuck going Manchester. He goes, I'm not, I'm staying in London. Boom, we are here on a Thursday because there's so much football news happening that we have to do it on Thursday as well. And obviously transfer windows, the January sales, people are coming, people are going, Bitcoin is falling. Bitcoin is down, little update from the cryptocurrency experts on our, on our mic right now. Anyway, look, look, let me <laughs> stay off the Bitcoin. So we have comments from a last week poet that we should smash through. John Gonzalez, I haven't heard the full transfer song in about a year. Can you do it one full time once? Transfers, 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 rumors, 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 Go on that. Did I rip? Oh my God, did you just rip it? Amazing. Joseph Rocker, what in the, what in the fuck is Vuj wearing? I don't know, some okay. feminist shit, innit? Um, Yolanda's has purple wizard sleeves and an, um, glow arse. Vuj, that's what makes you like a Serbian wizard. The knowledge of Sika, because we asked if Timzy play for North or South Korea. Timzy, and knowledge Sika says, Timzy should go to North Korea, because even if he's shit, they'll make some shit up and say he scored a winning goal in a World Cup final for them. Anyway, look, we keep it moving. That is mad. We're finally onto the rumors and the football. Um, poet, obviously this one is the biggest Thing that we're talking about right now. Yeah. The Ale Alexis Sanchez, Merry Go Around, and Makatarian to Arsenal. <sighs> what are you saying? Do you know what's so funny? What? Yesterday, uh, troops, obviously, we've done FIFA and Show of Troops. Check that very, out. very aggressive when it came to speaking about Sanchez. He took a picture of Sanchez yesterday after he just got a trip. He took a photo with him. So, DT, absolutely, another person we've done FIFA and Show with, make sure you check that out. Really, really cool. Absolutely. Troops took a photo. I met him on Twitter. Troops took a photo with him. He's like, yo, Alexis. Yo fam, he's turned around, Sanchez goes, oh my god, it's you! So they've had a conversation because Sanchez watches oh. Arsenal fan TV. And he said that he said to Sanchez, fuck that in Manchester. He goes, I'm not, I'm staying in London. So Sanchez is out here just playing with man's hearts, fam. Really playing with man's minds because as Wenger confirmed this morning, more or less, he will be signing for Manchester United for a lot of peas, bro. Sanchez took the piss like that? Took the piss, bro. Man's going to be making like half a mil a week. But obviously 20 million. You know, it's, it's a bargain in today. Obviously, he has to. He's going yeah. for cheap because it's in summer, he would have gone for free. Yeah, 100%. But you're looking, you're not spending a lot. Coutinho went for 142, obviously, he's younger. And Sanchez's transfer is very confusing because Sanchez wants to win the Champions League, yet he's gone to Manchester United. Now, no disrespect to Manchester United, Manchester United but within the, the, the last four Champions years, League, I doubt it. In the last four years, you've won as much as us and you haven't even finished above us. So, if Sanchez goes to PSG, I get it. Them and I are here, Neymar's running past 19 people and scoring hat-tricks. Manchester City, 12 points clear, I get it. It doesn't make sense to me, the Sanchez deal, but we've got in Mkhitaryan, so yeah. It's better, I, us. it's better for us, I guess. I mean, look, Mkhitaryan, obviously, 29 as well. He started all right, five assists. Um, do you think it's a good deal, though, Sanchez for Mkhitaryan? It is a good I deal. I think it'll suit your style of play. 100%. Um, it's, a, it's, a, it's a shame we're losing Sanchez, though. You're losing a player, high energy, fantastic goals, great assists. But obviously, it seems it was well documented in the press that Donny just didn't want to be there. Cause what do you what do you think about the Sanchez deal? It's one of those deals he's where player. he's a great player. He's getting old, doesn't want to be there, so he's got to go. Mm -hmm. It's almost like a lukewarm deal. Like I'm not gassed. I'm not excited. Nothing about it makes me go whoa. It's like you, everybody knew he was. It's just go now. Just let it happen. What does it mean for like Martial and Rashford? Is what I want to know. Um, it's quite loud in the background, sorry, they're just making some eggs and stuff. But let's, um, let's, I don't know, let's throw it to the Copper fan. But I think this is, as Poet said, a bit of a confusing transfer, which has been yeah. hung up in the air. I think it's more entertaining for the fact that Arsenal fan TV are going to be reacting and they're going to have an opinion. I don't think they even care anymore. I don't, that's what I'm saying, it's that kind of transfer. It's not like Coutinho. No, Coutinho was well documented, he wanted but to even sign if, for Barcelona. But if Arsenal fan TV don't care, then it shows you, it's just like, just do it now. Like, oh yeah, that's us change the fucking deal, let's see what happens. But um, do you understand I'm coming from? Coutinho, you said it in 2015, he always wants to go to Barcelona. So yeah, in 2018, yeah. he signs for Barcelona. It was well documented that this guy wanted to play under Pep. 100. So how he's playing under Jose Mourinho, I don't get it. But this is orange juice and it's good for you. Let's throw it to you guys though, look. Sanchez, Mkhitaryan, is that a good deal? Who's getting the better end of the stick? Is there even a better end of the stick? It's just a stick. So look, let us know. Leave a comment below, hashtag Sanchez, hashtag Mkhitaryan. Which one is a better deal? Which club gets United. a better deal? Huh? United's getting a bit of a deal. Yeah, yeah, but yeah, let's just throw it to the Copper fan anyway, you get me? Mm. But look, another player that might be going to, um, to Arsenal. It seems like Aubameyang wants to go. He skipped the team meeting apparently, um, and he's been banned for his club a second time for disciplinary reasons. 53.4 million in January potentially um, for him. What are you saying? It just all seems desperate from Arsenal side. Aubameyang, well documented a couple of seasons ago, was a player in high demand. There hasn't been that much press around him so yeah. far. And it's good to see that Wenger's not making the signings. The Greek where we signed, Wenger didn't even know his name. 
Yeah. Lish Keys moment. Um, and yeah, he said he's going to go out alone. Guess what? He's on a bench against Chelsea. So Wenger, there seems to be a change at Arsenal. So I'm imagining the next four months Wenger is going to be yeah. <laughs> the next four months is going to be very difficult for Arsenal because there are drastic changes happening. Obviously, no Paul, mm. Mkhitaryan, and Aubameyang. Mm. They played together at Dortmund. That could be a nice connection remade. Yeah, at but, Arsenal. That, but that, that's like saying, oh, Dwight York and Andy Cole at Man United, amazing. Went Blackburn, dead. Like, who cares what that's from? It's just it's a whole different manager. Honestly, it's a whole this different whole situation. team for Arsenal, I don't think is going to end well. It's draining. It doesn't look it's good. It's draining. It, as you said, desperate, I think is a key word. Very desperate. Obviously, it's not as Hashtag. bad as when we sold um, Cesc Fabregas and Nazri and then bought like Arteta, Mertesacker, Andre Santos, bare little youths outside. At least we're signing top quality players, but... They just signed Lumos. Oh, imagine they signed Lumos. <laughs> <laughs> and troops and DT up front. Wow. I think that would be so entertaining. It would be. Yeah. Herbie's 182. With Sanchez leaving and the possibility of getting Alba, Mickey and Malcolm, it still doesn't answer Arsenal's deficit for a top quality centre back. No, but I don't understand that comment because we're at the day and age of attacking football. Like, I don't think defensive football is really something that is prominently used. And for example, when Mourinho mm -hmm. first came, 05, but he's not winning anything. Attacking football is on the rise and is winning everything if you take a look right now, especially Man City. It's, they're an attacking team. They're yeah. going to win the league, do you know what I mean? Mm. Um, Chelsea are not doing well wide. They're not scoring goals. Arsenal not doing well really and truly. Like I said, it hasn't scored in how long? Mm. Liverpool, everyone's going mad about Liverpool wide. Amazing attacking oh. team. Oh. So for me, <laughs> attacking football's on the rise. But yeah, leave some comments below. Arsenal, the whole thing, is it disastrous? Is it a calamity? Uh, do they need a centre back? Who do they get? Alabama, Young, Megatarian? Everyone, just leave a comment. Sanchez, flood the comments below. Uh, look, let's let's um, take the I believe the district line all mm -hmm. the way to to, to Chelsea, um, <laughs> and they're saying West Ham would listen to twenty million pound offers for Andy Carroll, and that it seems like he's going to go to Chelsea. What's so sad is right, managers don't seem to be signing players. Conte, they asked him about signings, and he goes, he doesn't know. How can you not know you're the manager? He literally Who doesn't know. Someone Bitcoin. else actually. Bitcoin, isn't it? Yeah. That's why it's going down, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> it's just football's just weird. I feel weird, weird as a person. And Morata like, isn't playing well, so you get Carroll. You're like, who should we get? Who should we get? Should we oh, get Bamiyang? Really, no, really, let's go Andy Carroll. It's like it doesn't make sense. I don't know if they. I just don't get it. Is it because you need more English? Like I don't even get the Barkley signing. I said to <laughs> I everyone, don't get if the, you think Conte, the Barkley signing see, makes no, no sense. sense. He might as well say Lloyd Maybe as well. two years ago, but what? what? So we're talking about the team that won the Premier League <laughs> last year. Is that kind of vibe? Yeah, 100. Like, football right now is... <laughs> Chelsea won the league, sign Andy Carroll. <laughs> like, it doesn't make any sense. <laughs> so I just... Yeah, I, don't, I, don't, I just don't get it. Although, that's why he's meant to move to Dortmund. Then Aubameyang moves to Arsenal, paving the way for Sanchez <laughs> to move to Manchester United. It's gone weird. That's okay. apparently a pursuit that I've seen something floating on the net. So maybe that's why he will find his way at Dortmund. And be a success, I reckon, in Germany. Leave a comment below and let us know about Chelsea. What the hell is going on there? Mares to Liverpool. Oh, what saying, a um, signing that would be. 49 milli for him. <laughs> a milli, a milli, a But they're milli. saying the deal would take over 100 million, which I don't think he's worth. 49 mil, yeah, cool, fair enough, like, you know, in this day and age, but 100 mil for Mahrez? That's ridiculous. Come on. But Coutinho's not worth 146. 142. No, in this day and age, he is. No, then no one's oh, worth 106. any of that. No one's worth any of these prices. We're talking prices. inflated prices, Bitcoin, come on, bro. <laughs> and if you get someone like Mahrez and you have that sort of, because Liverpool have this attack in football where everyone just plays where they want. So before it was Coutinho, I think Mahrez would be a good signing. It'd be a great, si a Liverpool, great signing. Liverpool, but oh. not, just not hundred, over 100 mil. Who cares? It's not coming out of your pocket. So if Mahrez comes to Liverpool for an extreme amount of money, who gives a shit? If it means you win the league, do you care? Oh, hell no. Exactly. So it gives a, like that. Imagine Mahrez. Hell no. Never look. Ride your way. You know. Mahrez, Firmino, Mane and Bloody <laughs> Salah. You've gone mental. Yeah, that'd be mad. But look, look leave your comments. Do Liverpool need Mahrez? And what price would you go for for Mahrez? Hashtag Mahrez. I'm saying like, if really, my maximum for him would be 65. We're staying with Liverpool. Emre Chan to Juve. He's been saying that, you know, he wanted to, he's been wanting no, to apparently he came out two days ago and said he's not interested it's in it. For real? Yeah, two days ago he said that he has, there's no oh. truth in the story about him to Juventus. If you're leaving Liverpool right now, you're a mad man. To go Barcelona, I totally get it, but to go Juventus, like, they're not even number one no more. Emre Chan wants to stay. But it's been rumoured, obviously, his contract runs out. He's been stalling signing a new one. That's what people have been saying. If I'm Emery Chan, I'm actually I'm fully aware I'm not that gifted at football. So if I've got a he place, it. he's not. He's like, he's like a good, he does interrupt the game quite well, I'd say. And he can drive forward. I mean, he has one of the greatest feel, goals of Premier League history against Watford. But, but sometimes he just moves too slow. He's just not that great. He's almost like a, uh, it's like he's, uh, he's like jagged. 
It's like buffering. If it meant he goes and we get someone like Milinkovic Savic, I'll take that. We're staying with Liverpool. This is a player that really and truly should have left, I reckon, a, a, a while back. Say, saying Sevilla and Inter Milan are interested in Daniel Sturridge. What a player. He's fucking amazing. Daniel Sturridge is one of them players that didn't the reach their gifted, full potential. gifted players in the UK. He's an amazing English, English centre forwards, I reckon if you're looking at him and Kane, I'd say he's better than Kane, really. Me personally. Ability wise. Daniel Sturridge should make, he should make a January move and push on to try and get in the World Cup because it, Daniel Sturridge is a quality striker who gets goals <clears> when he's happy. And so, he's got a good uh, dance as well. Really. Fantastic dance and uh, you know a music career, hopefully that actually you know happens. Oh, there's been a lot of rumours, obviously. Look, leave your comment below. Daniel Sturridge. Where should he go? And then we have um, Andre Silva to Wolves. That's his mad. Oh, Edward says, how could you not talk about the Wolves bidding 34.7 for Andre Silva? Sajan Paddy, just rumours, but Andre Silva to Wolves for 34.5 mil. All right, um, you may remember a video myself and Vuj done with stri on the Strike Night event. Oh, uh, myself yeah. with Andre Silva and he after he won the tournament, then moved over to AC Milan. Hard. This guy's a bad boy. But then they're saying that, that Swansea are trying to come in and nick him. Oh, God. I just don't think that's the calibre of clubs that should be going for these players. Surely it's a trash rumour though. Trash. No, what? To, no, Wolves made, a, um, so, Wolves made a bid. Official bid. Wolves made a bid. They're no. on crud. They don't care. Their owner's got bread. <laughs> They'll sign anyone. They're 10 points clear. They're definitely coming to the Premier League. Anyway, Wolves fans, tell us how you feel, man. It's the first time we've spoken about you all season. Probably going to be the last until next season when you come to the Prem. Uh, leave a comment. Would you like to see that calibre of player come to your club? Let us know as we move on to Cardiff to Rio. So one, one quick one is also shout out to my boy Marco Gruic. He's going to Cardiff. When did you throw your thing? What happened? <sighs> Real Madrid are back. Now. Mario Icardi for trying to meet the 110 million buyout clause. Because Ronaldo's unhappy. Mm. He's throwing a tantrum. I actually. Ronaldo needs to dip, fam. Fam, he's 33. <laughs> he's done soon. <laughs> he's got that like, one couple of seasons. He's an adult. He's, he's a full adult. blown adult. Five youths. He, he needs to just call it a day now. And, you, a and then you know the youth wasn't really like. You know, they did the whole injection thing. <laughs> this might be libel. Yes, yeah, sorry. Be, sorry, we didn't, that was nope. all alleged. We, not totally from our wrong. Mouth, not from our mouth. But Ronaldo is unhappy. If he leaves, Akadi comes in. It'd be interesting. It'd be very, very interesting to see what happens with Real Madrid. They're not playing well. Um, lost again on the weekend. They're it's not awful, looking it? awful. There's, awful. There's some disarray at the club. Like the I said, magic Ronaldo. is gone. I don't know. I don't know. Let's just put it to the Copa fam, though. Real Madrid uh, is Akadi the man to solve their problems. How is it going to be just going for Real Madrid? in the next couple of seasons and what the hell is going wrong in general. Um, we did speak about dream signing, hashtag, don't forget the hashtag. Uh, uh, Hammy said Bale and Modric return to Spurs. That would oh. be sick. I mean, who knows? That maybe not Maybe not a Bailey, but Modder. Imagine Ronaldo dips, goes plays in MLS. And Modmod comes over to FIBA. Mod so Mod comes over there. Hey, Mod Mod's a bully. And you know. Bale. And then they just, well, who do they have? Madrid will be down in their dumps, fam. Who else is there? Um, we have Katie Hansen lies says uh, Dream Builds. I'd love Liverpool to trigger Oblak's release clause because if you're getting 150 million for Coutinho, then just splash 100 on Oblak because he'll win you, if not, uh, more points. Oblak means cloud in Serbian as well, so I don't know. I, I like I like Oblak. So um, I don't know what Oblak means in English. Nothing. Oh, <laughs> oh it means. I nothing. think it just means foreigner. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> foreigner. Oblak. Oblak. <laughs> <laughs> Kim Z says Dream signing Isco to Chelsea. 100. percent He'd fit in well. He's, he's scored at Liverpool. <gasps> he's not doing that great this season, you know. Uh, yeah, but Real Madrid. And to be so. fair, he's only had really like, nine great months at Real Madrid in his whole career. That was that or a season like where he was mental. Apart from that, well, then we have this dream signing: Rita and Achebe to Manchester United for the lols. <laughs> we have Lukaku up for front. the lols. Oh mate, you try to play tiki taka football with them two, fam. That was brilliant. Oh. No one's ever tried three big men up top. Like a Didier Drogba. Yeah. And a, nah. a Crouch. Oh. And a Lukaku. That's disgusting. Do you know how many headers you'd score? I think that's decent. I mean, Someone needs to try that. That's the most boring football ever. Just play it long. <laughs> <laughs> we are doing some done deals. We have some done deals. Uh, fuck, you know, Fia Walcott to Everton for 20 million. <laughs> His 12 year stay at Arsenal is over, where he scored 108 in 397 appearances. Yeah, Sanchez scored 80 in three years. Um, you know what I'm saying to you, cuz? <laughs> it gives me great pleasure to say goodbye for you. Thank you for the memories, you know? <laughs> thank, you for the first, thank you for the first FIFA and chill as well. Thank you for the first FIFA and chill. As for Arsenal, I've waited for this day my whole life. The little mixed race trio, AKA 3T, Gibbo, Chambo, and Fia Walcott have officially left the building. Wenger, you're not making any decisions no more. Wenger said he wants to keep him. I reckon, you know what? Arsenal got rid. I know what's happened. 
Wenger's distracted by Bitcoin. Maybe. Look, Alex Pritchard, Norwich to Hud Hud for 11 he's million. He's a decent old baller, you know? Yeah, all right. I remember him at Brentford. He was decent. He's a decent old baller. Um, first he started, I think he was at Spurs before that as well. Good little baller, but it's not really, I mean, Hud Hud, it's not going to, you know, Hud Hud are a bit trash, to be fair. I, I loved them at the start. Uh, but yeah, Hud, but yeah, they obviously naturally uh, they uh, fell down uh, a little. Hud Hud. Yeah. People are talking about outrageous transfers. Um, ben Selman says, Usain Bolt to Dortmund, man, you. That would be hard. Uh, James White, Griezmann to LFC, that would be scenes. I think he's going Barca anyway. Are you reckon, isn't it? Yeah, it's Griezmann at Barca with Coutinho. Oh. Tell us in Peck, Copa 90, my dog told me that Real Madrid wanted to buy Theo Walker for 20 pesos. He might be a bit wrong. That was kind of banterish, that comment. But Do you know what? It would have been funny if months. I saw the dog. Like, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> and I'm like, oh, sick. It's from the little video. But when you see it as a comment, it's just Are like... You don't need to send us more like videos and photos and just like stuff, man, as we can put in the show, fam. Anyway, um... That is transfer rumours for this week done. Uh, absolutely hectic, hectic week of uh, potential transfer news, Bitcoin falling in price. Like, so much has happened. So much. Um, yeah, just keep leaving your comments. Obviously, Alexis Sanchez, Aubameyang, and uh, Mkhitaryan, the biggest news right now. Wenger in, no Wenger out. Shake Hashtag about. Chelsea as well. Like, who is making the signings at Chelsea? Is it Eva? Is it a hot dog man? Let us know who you think is making the signs at Chelsea because it's clearly not Conte. Andy Carroll to Chelsea will probably be the biggest L in Premier League history. Um, yeah, and we will leave you uh, until obviously next Monday. Do watch all the FIFA and Chills that are out. I will see you next Thursday for the next transfer episode as well. And um, yeah, have a nice. I'm a slave <laughs> for you. <laughs> Sanchez asked the earth, and now he's free. <laughs> oh shit, man. Uh, oh, what oh. a week. Of, what is this? What's going on? Show over. <laughs> Yo, yeah? Show over.